Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Shadow Wraith, and today we've got a 555 point battle report for you. This is tournament practice, and our first game is the Black Riders, which is me versus Iron Hills, which is. Him. <laughs> I don't want to do fine. this. You'll be fine. <laughs> where we did the veto system where you can like veto certain scenarios, and we ended up with destroy the supplies. Yeah, there we go. It looks absolutely fantastic. It's going to be interesting. Um, we're going to see what the war, what the war bands are, and we'll go from there. Fantastic. Whoop. So here we are, the Black Riders. Uh, apologies for the shaky cam, I'm trying to do it all on holding this camera. So of course, we've got the Witch King of Angmar uh, mounted. Um, he's got 3 Might, uh, 11 Will, and 3 Fate. And then we've got 4 Copy and Paste Ring Wraiths. All of them's got 2 Might, and I think it's 9 Will, and 1 Fate. And then the last little ring wraith, Gary the ring wraith right here. He's got two might, seven will, and one fate. And that is the Black Riders. 555 points on the dot. So here we have the Iron Hills. Uh, what have we got here? So my first warband is led by Dane, Lord of the Iron Hills, etc, etc, on his mighty pepper. Uh, he is accompanied by two of my fabulous war goats that I have yet to paint because this is practice and I'm not 100% sure on a paint scheme yet. Yeah. And he's also got a singular Iron Hills Dwarf with spear and shield for filling out a battle line later. He, he, he's going to win you the game, that guy. He will. I'll make sure and take a note of which one that is. Um, Warband 2 is this yeah, one. There we go. Which is my Iron Hills Captain, spear, war spear and shield, sorry. Iron Hills Captains get war spears for some reason, probably because of the goats. And he has got 11 more warriors of the Iron Hills, all spear and shield, and one with a banner and a spear and shield. Ooh. He's going to be at the centre of the line, trying not to die, which, based on the number of black darts that I'm about to take to the face, is not going to happen very easily. Awesome. And my final warband is an ally from the survivors of Lake Town, uh, sadly unpainted as of yet, Bilbo Baggins the Master Burglar, because... Bilbo, I had a look, and against anything other than models equipped with Will of Evil, becomes yeah. very useful. It's just I have to deal with riders. But the usual plan, put on the ring, because he suffers no negatives, turn invisible, charge into stuff with Dane, so Dane is outfighting everything, including Balrogs. Just not them, because goddamn Will of Evil. Yep. Well, at least he's a three-might hero. So. He's a three-might hero with strike and an elven-made weapon. He's lovely. And that is the Iron Hills. Uh, we'll show you the board next. So here's the table. We're going to deploy in a sec. But uh, there's one of the objectives, the supplies. My one. Uh, there is the other one. And there's one tucked over here. And there's one there for the Iron Hills there. And tucked in that building. There we go. The objective of the game is to get a model in base contact with that at the end phase that hasn't cast a magical power that hasn't fired a missile weapon, been involved in a fight, or transfixed, or uh, immobilized, or anything like that. That's it, really. Happy days. Um, you get victory points. Uh, you get two per destroyed marker. You get one for causing uh, one or more wound to the enemy leader. If you kill him, it's two. One for breaking force. Two if you're unbroken. And they aren't. And banners. So, I don't have any banners, so if you keep your banner alive, you get two victory points. Which is why I expect he's going to cop 50 black darts. Yeah, yeah. Thankfully, black dart is a strength based thing, so it goes and has to deal with my shield wall. Exactly. And thus wounds on fours. Yeah, I can live with that. So, shall we get the first roll of the game going? And see. Yeah, I hidden my dice. See who uh, gets to deploy first, their first warband. So you get a two, I get a four. Okay, black riders. We'll be back after deployment because it'll just be easier. And there we are, fully deployed. I've got the Witch King taking up the centre as he should, uh, with a friend. I've got two on the flank here, two on the flank here, and then Iron Hills are doing what Iron Hills do best, sticking together, nice tight shield wall, and Bilbo's in there if you can see him. He is a hobbit who's invisible. He's I not invisible though, because god damn the other people. <laughs> I know, I can see him. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so we're going to go for turn one priority. I get a whopping two. I get a six. Ah, oh, Sauron. Okay. He betrayed you. Uh, so, yeah, go right ahead. What are we doing? I don't actually need to move anywhere yet, so... Yeah, no problem. Let's just get a shifty. 
and Iron Hill's our way. Not that there's any point of him putting the ring on. That's it. We're all moved up with them guys. And Bilbo stays still. They're guarding. Not even putting the ring on because it's completely pointless in this goddamn scenario. Yeah, no, that's fair. Um, I'm just going to move forward, I think. So we're just going to go forward our 10 inches. Come on, focus camera. Yeah, we're going to go up to there. Uh, camera swap. Whee! A bit easier. So we're just going to pull over that way a little bit. Whee! Uh, he doesn't need to cast anything yet. I'm out of range here. The Witch King. Can we get there? Can we actually ping? Yeah, we might as well give it a go. And so it begins the death of Dane. So we're going to pop there. Or Dine, as he is known by Andy Circus, apparently. Yeah. We're going <laughs> to... Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll throw out a two dice back up. Why not? So that is ring wraith number one. He's going to two dice it. Looking for a big old five up. Uh, nope. Uh, I'll spend the point of mine. Why not? Who is this on Dane? Yeah. I'm yeah. Uh, specifically Dane, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I don't care about his pick. Black Dart, Fiver. If I had one wound, then I would probably care. Oh, yeah, he's got two. I forgot about that bit. Cool. I'll take the cam. Ah, do I even want to. You can have it. Cool, yeah, no, that's fair. So I need a defense eight, isn't he? Four. So, so four up. Uh, that's one wound on Dane. Let's try and get rid of that with some fate. Yeah. Uh, failed fate. Do you want to go for another one? Yep. You might as well. Yep, yeah, stops it. So, that is one fate down on Dane. Two. Uh, two fates, sorry. Sadly, that he's not a fraud, he doesn't have the Arkansas. And then the Witch King is going to go there, from there. Yeah, he'll be in range. That's all right. Witch King. And we'll two dice Black Dark Dane. Yeah. Yay. Let's see what we get. Uh, we get it on a five. Uh, you can have it. Cool. Let's see if we wound him. That's a wound on a four. Try and fate it again. Nope, that is two. And I don't plan on spending two might for that. Same. So he's out of fate and he's down a wound. Hey, well done, Witch King. Yeah, Doing good. Uh, I'm going to finish the rest of my movement and then we'll go from there. Okay, so first ring race moved up. We're doing it. I, I know I should do it as I move, but it doesn't matter. They're firing different targets. He's going to fire off a Black Dart Dane just within 12 inches. Needing a five up. Uh, get to six. Ah, uh, you can have it. Okay, see if we get it on a four. Uh, yes, that's another wound on Dane. Down to one. And unfortunately, the second Black Rider was out of range, which is why I moved him up anyway. We're going to try and kill your uh, dude on his ram. So, two dice again. Uh, we will spend a point of mic, because why not? Uh, you can't resist it. No. So, four plus defense, eight. Six. Oh, three. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, he's dead. That's a three. Focus. Yep, yeah, there we go. <laughs> um, and that is the Black Riders uh, fully moved up. Priority. Where do I put my dice? That's right. Let's see what I get. Uh, I get a four. In the book. <laughs> Bilbo page. Three. Oh dear, that's not good. Cool. Uh, any heroics? No, because there's no point. No, there's literally no point. Uh, I think one of my ring rays. Ring rays four. He's gonna march. We'll be right back. Cool. Um, so I moved these two forward. Um, just simplicity's sake. And Dine has declared a heroic resolve because I can see the gun line that's going to try and kill him, and I want to try and survive it. You might as well, yeah. Six inches gets Dane, Bilbo, and everyone up to the Iron Hills captain and the banner. So these six are vulnerable. The rest of them are slightly less vulnerable. Exactly. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Um, so we are going to try and... Oh, do I be risky and roll one? Nah, I've got loads of will. Uh, I'll try and compel your banner. Need and fork got the six. So you've got your resistance to magic. Which I will obviously use. So number four. And that is a three, so he fails. So he's just going to move three inches. Two and a half. Uh, two and a half, sorry. Just to get you out of base contact. So I can ping a black dart off. I use two dice with the ring of five. Uh, six, get it. 
uh, I think you're at correct resolve range. I am indeed. So, uh, four plus your defense. Oh, seven. Your defense seven, so three plus. No, four still. I was dead either way. Oh, sorry. Black Riders! <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's, it, it's horrible. I don't know why people don't use them more. Um, yeah, they're kind of horrible to go against. I fully understand. We might as well see if the Witch King can do it. With two dice, Black Dart, Dane. Uh, uh, needs a point. So, you know what? We'll spend two to make it six. Oh, you dickhead. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Uh, I'm going to spend two will off of Dane. And your free one. And my free one. And Stop that is it. the six. Cool. I get one back for the six, don't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then... So down Red by one. one. Oh, the Witch King has to finish his move. Come um, on. Which he'll definitely not fight you. Come on, do it. Yeah, which will back off slightly. And then Ring Red One's going to spend two. No. And he'll back off slightly. Ring Red Three is out of range, so he's going to move forward. Two inches. Two dice it. Uh, let me jump on number one. So number three. Uh, we'll spend a point of might, turn it five. I'll spend one of Dane's points of will. Nope. Uh, is it worth the two might? Probably. It'll keep him alive. Yep, yeah, I've got one more black dart. You might not get it. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, why not? So Dane is now out of might. And he's only got one point of will left. This is not looking good for the king of the Iron Hills. And this Wraith is just going to inch forward. Oh, he'll finish his move by backing off. Uh, Justin, he's only moved half an inch. Ring Wraith 2 is going to spend two. Ah, uh, no. You're all good. They lives another turn. And we're going to back off this way. Job done. Uh, your movement. Yes, indeed. Um, Dane can't move because he was... Too busy not getting obliterated by evil, evil magics. Yep. So, just gonna move the Iron Hills line down. I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to push through the Witch King just yet. He's very f problem with Black Riders when you're playing with anything infantry based. You can't catch him because even my cavalry is slower than your horses. Uh, yeah, because goats are fat and slow. Pull goats. And pigs. And pigs. Pigs are only eight as well. Goats are just going to come over there. Yeah. Uh, Bilbo is going to... Is he going to chill? Or... Check just one little thing. So we'll be right back. So that's what the board's looking like. Oh, come on camera. There we go. Right now. Uh, it's now turn three priority. Six. One. Uh... Do you want to call anything? Uh, no. No, there's no point. Oh, no. Yes, there is. There is. Bilbo Baggins, the master burglar, can call a heroic resolve. Oh, for Dane. Yeah, that's fair. Um, we're going to call a channeling with one of these two ring rays. I'll decide in a second. Okay, so ring ray five is called an instill fear. You mean heroic channeling? Uh, heroic channeling. Sorry. <laughs> you know what? Thanks, thanks for telling me the spell, though. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, I'm going to go there. So I hit up to that dude, but not your captain. Okay. Uh, slightly further forward. There we go. So it's going to hit them six. I'm going to spend, I think, three dice. Oh, you really want this? It's on a five. He's running low, he's only got two left. Oh, no, he's my sacrificial man. Uh, he's got one uh, might to get it off if he needs it. He gets it. Uh, the captain's out, so it just goes off. So, uh, if you pause it. So, we've got the uh, channeled in still fear going off on these uh, three, uh, six. Uh, channeled in still fear. They all have to take a courage test of 3d6, removing the highest dice. Failure. They have to move. Uh, I'll have to double check it. It's either half or full distance away. I don't care. I just want them to move slightly. Um, but yeah, that's about it. And I get to pick the order. Sorry about that. The cat destroyed something. Um, 
Let's uh, let's start with this guy at the back here. Three d six. Remove the highest. Uh, yep, that's a fail. Double one. Oh yeah. <laughs> Remove the highest. So if you just want to move him that way five inches, do you think it's better if we just record the aftermath? Yeah, keep it for the courage test. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll go for this guy. Uh, that's a big old fail. Yep, that's only a three. Courage three, thanks to your <laughs> harbinger. Woo. Uh, yeah. So he just hits the building and stops. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we'll go with this guy. Um, that's also a fail. Yeah, that's only a five. Again, just... He's just going to hit the building. But it keeps him out of... Uh, we'll go for this guy. So he'll go like that. Uh, four, that's a fail. Ooh, no, he just he doesn't go anywhere. So he just can't move. Yeah. And then this guy will be able to move. Uh, four, five is still too low. Yep. So Need minimum seven. Yep. So he's he'll probably stop it on his yeah. He can get to there. And then the last dude uh, fails on a four. Yes. Sorry, I keep going for the lowest. I don't no, know no, why. it's because you're used to fantasy cold blooded, aren't you? I am. <laughs> yeah, he just. Uh, that's literally it. Um, I'll finish the movement of the other rifle, see what happens. Okay, so he's uh, moved. Ooh, uh, we can come over here. And I think we're going to go for the old rinse and repeat again. So we're just going to go 12 inches away from him, which is about what? I'll call it two inches. <laughs> number one is going to spend two on Black Dart. Uh, has number one got any money left? He's got one. Yep. Dane's going to spend his point of will plus the one he's getting from Bilbo Baggins. And that is a six. Okay. Uh, so that is exactly what I you, wanted to see. Yeah. You usually roll them separately. Do you? Because you don't get the free one. Just roll a dice on a one, two, three. The, your one was. Okay, yeah, you do get the six. That's great. Um, then the Witch King. I'll roll them in different colours. Yeah, that's alright. You just don't get refunded from the free one? Yes. Witch King's going to spend two. See what he gets. Got that bit. Four. Screw it. One point of mine. Red dice is the free one. Yep. That is a six on the red dice. So Dane is out of will, but he still hasn't been black darted yet. Uh, yep. So he spent that. Still got two more. Oh, and then they just. There we go. So half an inch forward. Two dice black dart. Six. Nope. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's dead. No! Dane Ironfoot, Lords of the Iron Hill, has fallen. Um, and yeah, just pause the recording because the rest of it doesn't matter. Alright, so after that turn, uh, well, you've got a little bit of movement, but no one can get into combat. Um, I'm going to get that supply because he didn't actually cast the magical power he did. So that will get burnt, which would get me two points. But what. Uh, Christian so lovely told me is he realized something um, that because I've got two points here two points for killing Dane and he hasn't got a banner anymore all I have to do is in my next turn uh, lose all my wraiths apart from the Witch King by popular themselves which will break me bring me 25% and uh, the game will end Christian will have two points Iron Hills will have two points to my four so I double his points, major victory, ridiculous. Um, so yeah, we could move on. Um, did you want to call it there? Yeah, then, then all I'll do next turn is maybe get a goat in, but then he'll just die anyway. And all I'll do is kill an extra wraith, but the wraith isn't worth any points as is. The only point that I could get at the moment is killing him. Yeah. And that would require me moving and getting the charge off next turn with priority but you've still got a point of might left on the right next to him i believe yeah with a heroic move yeah to get him out of the way if you don't i could win but because you do there's no chance in hell i can no. actually come and touch you yeah and all he does run away horse beats goat horse is faster yeah i would need a lot of turns of priority and without any might to win if that's assuming i don't want to be a massive dick head and pop all my wraiths, which I would usually do. I wouldn't do it, 
in a normal friendly game. Uh, we'd probably scrap in the middle and stuff like that. And if he breaks me naturally, he breaks me naturally. But at this point, the Witch King is not going to do anything. He's going to probably sit like here on the table, right at the back. Because as long as he's alive, I've won. As, um, as, as a tournament practice game, this is exactly the strategy Black Riders should use in a tournament. Yeah. Get the, get the slight lead on points where it gets to the point where you can end the game, still win, and there's nothing your opponent can do. I have brought the probably one of the toughest armies in the game. Like, there's not much that can get through Iron Hills reliably, but Black Dart from Black Riders just shoes through. You kill Dane, that's two points. You kill a banner, that's another two that I don't get. And then you just break yourself and win, and that's four points to you, two yeah. to me. So even in that, that's a win. If it's Lords of Battle, maybe, yeah. or Contest of Champions, Dane might do some work because of how close we are and the horse is not being an issue as much because I just move and jump on you quickly. But I haven't got that. That We uh, we did roll contest, but it was vetoed because it would be an auto or very, very, very difficult fight for raids. Yeah. There's not many scenarios where Iron Hills can do anything against a fully mounted list thing is, even with contest, if I got lucky, got first turn, won the heroic move off, and then fully blacked out to kill Dane. Yeah, because you'd have all yeah. of your raids. Yeah. You would, at that point, you would have you put the Witch King within the three that you're supposed to. Yeah. But you, to be smart, you just put the rest of your raids in yeah. front of him. Yeah. So I'd have to heroic combat through a wraith into the Witch King, and by that point, you'd get to move out anyway. Yeah. So there's no chance. I'd win unless. The Witch King was brave enough to get into combat just because I get that kill with Dane and you wouldn't. Yeah. But even then, it's still a. It's a tight. Ring raids are amazingly good. Obnoxious is the word you're looking for. Yeah, I, I think. reckon the only list that might do well against them. Breaking of the Fellowship's got some good stuff for anti magic. But what you really want to use is uh, Vanquishers and the Necromancer. They, they'd do quite well, wouldn't yeah, they? You can't use Rise of the Necromancer. The Necromancer just dies to this list. I've done it before. He just gets sat willed by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven raids. Yeah. He's out of will. He dies because he's got will of evil as well. You bring Vanquishers. They've all got Staffs of Power or Lady of Lothlorien, so they're never going to run out of will. They're all resistant to magic. They all get extra dice and re-rolling dice. Yeah. And, uh, casting in combat, so you can't even stop. The only thing the riders have is the mobility. Yeah. But it's the fact that they are... I wouldn't say they're the best spellcasters in the game because that goes to a lot more of the your wizards of the west, your yeah. elves, and your saurons. But they are very good spellcasters. They have a lot of will, a lot more than every other character in the game. Like I know Gandalf and all that get their free one, but free one per turn doesn't equate to being able to chuck out twenty black darts. I mean, if we think, how many black darts did you just take to the face? What? Uh, three turns of, and three turns. they didn't fire one. Uh, they didn't fire black darts. Oh, you got one from one of them. Yeah, but Dave took one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. Like, he took twelve or thirteen black darts to the face. There's not. I I cannot think of any hero that you could bring reliably at this point level who could survive that, apart from the Balrog or Sauron. And even then, it would be close. Maybe Elendil if he rolls right. Uh, he's got what fortify spirit. Elendil's yeah. got fortify spirit. He could do it, but it would be a touch and go thing. <laughs> yeah. Because he's the same defense as Dane, and you just kill his horse because that's only got one wound. Yeah. Sauron could do it because resistant to magic, but even then, just kill the rest of his army, and he can't outpoint you. Yeah. And he's slow. The Balrog slow again, and just wipe out the goblins. If it's Death of Moria, he won't break. Yeah. But you'll get him to twenty five percent before he can get in. He might get lucky and whip a wraith or two. And you'll ne you will never black dart the barrel to death. He has so much. Um, he's got way too much will to do it. What what was that other scenario you vetoed? You vetoed one. Um, I, I think I vetoed contest. I vetoed the capture the flag one. Oh, your retrieval. Yeah. Because yeah. we've done that one before as well. Uh, black Riders versus Dogledur, Azog, and some Nazgul. And it was just a uh, Azog got in, got a kill, and yeah. then the rest of the raids were capturing objectives, and I couldn't touch them because, again, horses are. Uh, the only lists that out mobility these are going to be your Eagles yeah. or your Rohan. Rohan can't touch this. There's there's too much magic. I They'll think just black dart every single leader and oh no, your courage too. I think Eagles could do it. Shooting shooting can hurt. With lucky roll, shooting can. You dehorse the Nazgul in this list and they lose so much of their power. 
I yeah, think. Uh, Rangers of Ithlin before the nerf and Mer- Rangers of Mirkwood now yeah. can probably manage it yeah. a bit better. Eagle, Eagles, resistant. Oh no, they're not resistant to magic. I know, only if they're near Radagast or something. Is it? Yeah. I know there's a way to get them. Yeah. Eagles within 12 of Radagast get rid of. I take- Rad- bring Radagast with some Eagles and they do alright against this because they, they resist the black darts that are going to get chucked at them. They're defense 7? Hey, they're defensive yeah. anyway, so that's force to wound. And they're courage five with the basic harbinger that I was experiencing here. Yeah. They're not gonna be like they'll struggle, don't get me wrong, but you get an eagle into a black rider and that's a black rider dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there's no way. No if, way I'm surviving. If that. the <laughs> if the rider gets the charge, they get two attacks. Same as the eagle. Uh yes. Eagles what, five seven, strength? Six. Six. Seven yeah. is they charge, and then they get an extra attack as well. Yeah. And you have to get through three wounds with two attacks, which you're not doing in a turn. No, no, no way. Black Riders do ignore Will of Evil's main negative of losing a point of will in combat, but that's still an eagle you're fighting, and how many points are you paying per Wraith here? Uh, I think they're the most of them are 90, one of them slightly cheaper, and the Witch King is obviously like Yeah, great. Right. Uh, the Eagle's 100 points, so yeah. a little bit more expensive. I'd have, I'd have less Eagles, but each one I'd just hurl into another Wraith. Yeah. And then they both lose their horses. If I ever got anywhere near the Witch King, he'd be done. Yeah. Because even the Witch King, he doesn't have... He can't bring the crown in this scenario, because he has to be that a Black, black rider, rider yeah. instead of the Witch King. The cooler looking version. No. He is cooler with the crown, I will admit, but he doesn't get the combat stats. No, I, I do love this model. Let's see. Can we get a can we get a nice focus on it? Yeah, that brand new Witch King. He is there he pretty. is. He's... Oh, I love him. I love him. He, he's such a good model. And he's he's one of the best... If you know, if I was running... Maybe not Mordor. Maybe not Mordor, because you, you get more options. But if I was running Angmar, definitely bring him. Him with the crown is insane. His attacks go up to three, and he gets to re-roll casting roll. Like, he gets nuts. the Saruman rule. For yeah. the same points, he's, less points. He's like 70 points. Less points, naked. but that's with... 10 will and no fate. Yeah, Crown of Morgul was what, 30? 25, 25 points. Yeah. So you're playing 95 points, Saruman's 180. Yeah. You got more will than him. Yeah. But I reckon 150 points you can really do some good work with the Witch King. Saruman's 180. Yeah, there you go. So. <coughs> Excuse me. So. Again, um, you, you lose the free one a turn and you die if you run out, but the Witch King is. And if you're running him in Angmar or Mordor, yeah. you just swamp them with orcs, keep the Witch King out of combat. Horse or fell beast, either way, probably horse because fell beast is just a waste of points. Uh, they can be good. It depends on the scenario. It depends on the point level. If, you're, yeah, if yeah. you've got loads of points to play with, chuck him on a fell beast. It will make itself work. Yeah. If you're, I tell you what, about one, these points level horse. One thing that would have helped you more, and this is my fault because I don't have that much terrain. If that was a solid wall, I couldn't be seen through it. You, you'd be able to hide. Yeah. Like I mean, I'll, I'll admit, there's nowhere to hide, really. But this is the kind of terrain that had Articon, so... And uh, Articon, the shooty armies, they did suddenly combat. didn't do so well because they couldn't... Oh, uh, the shooty armies did Yeah. even better because they had... There wasn't as cover for... Uh, normal people. Yeah. Um, R- Rangers without... Rangers without the but, uh, without the nerf of Bilbo, or Frodo, Sam and Smeagol would do all right against these. Merkwood Rangers, yeah, probably Rangers of the North. Rangers yeah. of the North might do all right against this because good shooting, yeah. Good and you got the and fearless you banner, and you get Aragorn. And Is it banner of the Alfred. Everstar? Yeah. yeah. If you or um, what's the legendary the Grey Company? And oh he yeah. He gets Andoril for free. Yeah. But in that scenario, he has to be on foot, which again you come up against the issue of until you demount the ring raids, they will outpace you. Yeah. And in any scenario of objectives, one or two calls a march comes around the sides. Yeah. And unless you spread out, at which point they will pick you off in most scenarios because they're better pound for pound than most warriors, Yeah. you're going to lose. I mean, how quickly did them two shoot up? Yeah, though? Tw- uh, four inch, or uh, four foot board, that's 15 inch move. Yeah, it took three turns. Yeah, they're, they're not they're not slouches, and you're usually starting 12 up anyway. Yeah. No, I reckon Rangers would be good at dealing. Yeah, any four, Rangers of the North would do all right, maybe. If you brought them as horses, they could keep up. Rivendell, Rivendell Knights might be. Rivendell Knights are the ones I'd be scared of. But 
Again, all you have to do is black dart the horses. Yeah, true. Start black darting horses in Elrond. Yeah. And as long as he doesn't get close enough to use... Rathabrunian. Rathabrunian. <laughs> what? Yeah. Remember when that was six inches? <laughs> I miss when it was six inches. I, I had very much fun with that when oh, it was six inches. That's so broken. And the other effect of the spell that you never see at tournaments because no one ever brings up river. Yeah, that super strong, was it? Like strength six or something? Eight. Strength, strength eight. eight and then strength nine if you channel it. Yeah, crazy. Well, I think, um, just so everyone knows, that is not a list I ever bring to a normal from game. But tournament practice, that'll be cool to see. Uh, thank you, Christian, so much for... Thank you putting for up with that. Thank you for beating up my lovely, lovely dwarves who've never done anything wrong. I know, right? So how about we have a nice normal game now? Yeah, I, I reckon Aragorn versus Sauron is quite a normal game. Yeah, it'd be quite fun. Alright, awkward left-handed handshake. Well done. Uh, well done. good game. Uh, and top top lad. I hate black riders. Yep, so do I. I would <laughs> I, I would not want to face them. Alright, thank you everyone for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Uh, goodbye.